The Bureau of Narcotics says today is all about education. They want to educate the people here today. We're talking about legislators, prosecutors, and community leaders. The Bureau says without them, they won't win the war on drugs. In some very true to life scenarios, agents from the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics give the very people who were charged with making policies in Oklahoma a first hand look at what the war on drugs looks like, such as a search warrant that erupts in gunfire to a field as agents take down a marijuana grow operation. Participants even get a chance to shoot assault rifles and learn how to repel from the agents who do this for a living. Uh, what we want is educated decisions. Director Daryl Weaver wants them to have a clear understanding of exactly what OBN is up against and how the agency is utilizing all of its assets. We can get them away from uh, 23rd and Lincoln, if you would, uh, when they're not in session, just to come out to show them what we're doing and what our strategies are to try to make Oklahoma safer. A good part of the exercise at Camp Gruber is focused on battling marijuana production. Agents can spot small plants from the sky and repel from helicopters to take the operation down. Weaver says OBN has changed its tactics to keep up with those of the cultivators. They try to just wear law enforcement down. Instead of putting a field of 100, they'll put five plants and then you have to walk 100 yards and get 20 more plants. Senator Rick Brinkley says this has given him a better understanding of the impact on the decisions he makes at the Capitol. We're coming out here to figure out what it is that we're funding, where do those dollars need to go, and what kind of basically bang are we getting for our taxpayers' buck. And it's been pretty amazing to see what they're able to accomplish with really so few dollars that they have. Now, today's event was funded almost exclusively through federal dollars and revenue from drug seizures, just like this Hummer. A lot of the equipment here you see was taken from drug deals. Reporting from Camp Gruber, Casey Roback, 2 News, works for you.